Moving on now, after the Serve 111 meeting action, a Nigeria's country director, Andrew Mamedu, announced that the Youth Development Commission bill passed in second reading at the National State Assembly will provide job creation and economic empowerment opportunities to combat radicalization among Nigeria's youth, aiming to eradicate poverty among over 70% of the population. The young persons play a critical role, and that for us, this bill will be able to define all of that and be able to have clear actions and support mechanisms for us to for those to be established. It's not just another commission. I think we should note that it's not just another commission, but it's a commission that is strategic. And if well harnessed, the young persons will be able to improve themselves, improve their society, their family, and the states. And there I say, of course, the country at large, because if look at FCT, which is bordered to 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 Nasarawa, if the young persons are in Nasarawa are able to get this bill and implement what is in it, they are resource persons that will support the growth and development of the federal capital as well. The Speaker of the Nasarawa State Assembly, Right Honourable Daladi Dato, Honourable Bawa Ben, has now been uh, praised by uh, for his foresight in drafting the bill that has been accelerated in Parliament. The speaker has also called for support from the government, developing partners and civil society groups. I wonder if we were not the chairman of uh, the Committee on Youth and Sports, I wouldn't know whether you were able to think deeply about this bill. But uh, the youth of Nasara State will have missed you greatly. But thank God you are the chairman and uh, you are making the base of this opposition very well. If this bill had no substance that will contribute to the growth and development and the economy of the state, it will have a third date on arrival. Nasara State is sitting on a time bomb in terms of the population outburst, huge population outburst, that our nearness to Abuja, the seat of government, has brought to us. The commission will serve as a dedicated body to formulate, implement, and evaluate programs that empower our youth, enabling them to fulfill, fully participate in society and contribute to the development of our state. I call upon each of you, government officials, civil society, and community leaders, to lend your support to this crucial initiative. The governor's approval of the proposed uh, commission led to high hopes and expectations among state youth groups. I'm not just excited, but I'm overwhelmed at the level of the commitment I have seen here, at the level of the commitment pushed by the action here to ensure that this bill has come to a landline. National State Youth are very happy and uh, will continue to do our best to make sure that this bill has passed into law. I'm super excited because the Nasara youth will now have a commission on their own. They will have a place whereby the programs and activities of um, the youth will be superheaded by the youth himself in Nasara state, not by the stakeholder, which has been the usual team maybe, and you see an older person being the chairman, being the commissioner of youths. Action Aid Niger has passed the some state versions of the Youth Development Commission Bill, which they expect to be domesticated for fast track youth empowerment. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.